pacing any event is challenging, but pacing an event that there's three legs on, run, bike, run, uh, like this weekend's Kayatlan virtual adventure race is especially challenging. So we'll go through some of the best techniques and how you get ready for an event like this. So stick around and we'll go through it in a lot more detail. I suppose the perfect way to do an event like this weekend's one is you break it up into three separate events and you spread it over the 36 hours, whatever you have that's available to you. So you might, you know, get your two runs in on the Saturday. You might, you know, get your 4K in maybe Saturday morning. Um, you know, late afternoon, you might try and get that, you know, power work in with the, the 2K. Again, you'll need to be warmed up properly before you do that. Uh, and then Sunday, maybe you get out on the bike. But assuming that we're gonna do it all together, we're gonna to lay out the best strategy as if this was one overall event. I think the best way to probably approach it this weekend if you're doing it all as one event is to get your 4K run in, get a break. Uh, if you want to get you know, a small little bit of uh, liquid or nutrition into you, but very small, uh, because your run will be in that 15 to 20 minutes kind of zone. You know, you should have enough reserves in your system. You're then onto the bike. The bike, assuming that you're going, you know, broadly at 30 kilometers an hour, depending on the course you pick, will take you, what's that? You know, just over 25 minutes. So you're going to be, uh, you know, fairly fresh coming off it. Again, take a break, but you're well warmed up at this stage before you get onto your 2K run. But the one thing to look out for if you're going for that 2K run off the bike is that you don't want those jelly legs. So, you know, walk around for a little bit, maybe do a few strides. And by strides, I mean, you know, 50 to 80 meters, three quarters pace, you know, get that, you know, that, that motion into your legs and take 10 or 15 minutes don't get cold you know keep moving but you know then you can put in that all-out effort for the four kilometer run you're going to be sitting at or about the pace that you went at for the 5k you did a couple of weeks ago if you didn't do the 5k a few weeks ago uh, you're going to be going out at about a hundred and eight percent of your critical power if you're running off a power meter and you know you're going to be on a perceived exertion scale of eight probably eight nine uh, this is a tough run for most people they're going to be 20 minutes uh, the insanely fit among you will be probably down around 15 minutes for this run so this is a pretty much an all-out effort but you know keep something in reserve for the second half you're still looking to get that negative split across the 4k assuming you're on flat ground etc etc you should be looking to bring the last 2k home faster than the first 2k so when we're cycling, some people think it's rolling resistance, more people think it's our weight, but actually the number one force we're looking to fight against is wind. So what you're looking to do in an event like this is tuck yourself in nice and low, whichever position you prefer to get out of that wind. In an area like this, this is probably the only flat bit of ground that we get on our 14 kilometer cycle we're always either going up or going down but if you're going up a hill don't power too much into it you want to keep something in reserve for the entire effort so you don't want to burn yourself out early on and you want to keep that power for those sections where you can put out the power you're looking for a balanced effort broadly it's the same as running it's a kind of a negative split you're looking to get you know the first half slightly less power output than the second half and the real push of coming that last three four kilometers that's where you should be bringing it home and that's where your focus should be to, to in the back of your head i'm going to keep something for that last 4k and then for the final sting in the tail the two kilometer finishing run Honestly, that's going to be tough because that's going to be fairly close to an interval type run. Uh, think about 2K, it's just over a mile. So, you know, 
that's one of the toughest disciplines in running. You're going to be close to threshold the whole way around on this. Again, know your pacing. Uh, try and do the second K faster than the first K, depending on elevations, etc. But, you know, try and pace it so that you have something in reserve to push for that last 500 meters in particular. You don't want to run out of air uh, with 250 to go and have to walk a bit to regain your composure. So try and balance it and juggle it as best you can. A few things to watch out for when you're getting your bike ready for the weekend. Uh, probably the key one for most people is to get your drivetrain clean, okay? Mine's probably a little greasy here and needs a little bit of love over the next few days. I've been out on a few uh, adventurous rides over the last few days and it needs a clean up. Uh, in general, you know, clean up the bike, get your tire pressures right. You're going to be on the road here, so, you know, you're probably going to run a little bit of extra pressure compared to the off-road stuff. And just in general, uh, make sure that everything is running free so that you don't have any discs that are catching. So if you've ever watched one of the GCN videos, they'll always start an event and they'll go something along the lines of beep, 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 and away they go. But a cheeky tip for this weekend's event is get a bit of momentum before you turn on your head unit. So, you know, get rolling, get your speed up, and when you're rolling nice and quickly, that's when you press the start button on your head unit, and that's when you're going. Should gain you a few seconds. To recap, I think for most people, the run element is gonna take slightly longer than the bike element, but there's not gonna be much in it. So it's probably gonna be something along the lines of 55% running, 45% bike, uh, depending on your strengths and your weaknesses, etc., etc. So the focus for this weekend for, for myself and Celine is going to be get that 4K in at close enough to threshold. Again, we're gonna try and balance first 2K versus the second 2K, get a breeder, uh, maybe get a small bit of fuel into us before the bike, something tiny, you know, maybe half a flapjack, something like that, and certainly we'll have the water bottles on the bike. Uh, then on the bike, uh, we're gonna have an undulating course. Wind is gonna be a factor. So try when you're lining up your 14K circuit, we're all stuck to a five kilometer radius in your house, so you're gonna be doing some sort of a loop. Uh, try and take advantage of the wind as best you can. Given that it's a loop, you're probably going to be into and out of the wind a little bit. Uh, in an ideal world, and if we didn't have restrictions, we'd point, you know, with the wind at our backs on a nice straight road and we just roll for 14 kilometers. That's not an option this weekend. So we're going to be in a circuit, but, you know, have a glance at the wind and try and take advantage of it as best you can on your loop. And then when you're coming off the bike for that last 2K, Again, you want to avoid that problem with your jelly legs. So, you know, walk a little, do one or two strides, just get the legs firing and get that motion firing. And again, you're going to want to bring that second kilometer uh, home faster than the first kilometer. So that second kilometer is going to be at threshold, you know, and it's going to be ab above threshold, you know, assuming threshold is your 10K pace, it's going to be probably 110, 112% of threshold. The first kilometer is probably going to be 106, 107% of threshold. So that's about where you're going to pace it. Best of luck and remember, to be fair to Greg and all the great guys at Catlin, get the results up in the format they want. It's a, I've done these in the past. It's a huge undertaking to try and collate these results. They're doing it all uh, out of the goodness of their heart. So get them in on time, get them in the format that they want so it's easy for them to pick them up and best of luck with it and enjoy your weekend. The forecast is great. It's gonna be a super weekend for an adventure race.